हाई द ससन हास लेमा और बटरफ्लाई लेमा इज नेम्ड आफ्टर हैंग्स ससन हास इज अ टेक्निकल रिजल्ट ऑन द लैटिक्स ऑफ सब ग्रुप्स ऑफ ए ग्रुप द बटरफ्लाई नेम केम वेन ट्राइंग टू ड्रॉ द असे डायग्राम ऑफ द वेरियस ग्रुप्स इन्वॉल्व Let us see the statement of Sasan Haas Lema. So let G be a group and A star B star B subgroups of G. That means A star and B star are two subgroup of a group G. Now A is a normal subgroup of A star and B is a normal subgroup of B star. Then there is an isomorphism of Cauchy groups, namely. A into A star intersection B star mod A into A star intersection B is isomorphic to B into A star intersection B star mod B into A star intersection A intersection B star. So let us see the proof of this lemma. So let us assume that K is equal to A star intersection B star and H is equal to A into A star intersection B. But it is given that A is a normal subgroup of A star. Therefore, by definition, A H is equal to H A for all H belongs to A star. That means the A the every element of A star commutes with A. So because K is equal to A star intersection B star and which is a subset of A star. And A H is equal to H A for all H belongs to A star. We have A H is equal to H A for all H belongs to K. This we call as one. That means because K is contained in A star, A H is equal to H A for all H belongs to K. So also B is a normal subgroup of B star. So definitely A star intersection B is a normal subgroup of A star intersection B star. But A star intersection B star is same as K. Therefore, A star intersection B is a normal subgroup of K. So, by definition, for all H belongs to K, A star intersection B into H is equal to H into A star intersection B because A star intersection B is a normal subgroup of A star intersection B star. That is K. So, therefore. For H belongs to K, H H. What is H? A into A star intersection B. That means H H is equal to A into A star in A into A star intersection B into H. But two says that A star intersection B into H is same as H into A star intersection B. Therefore, H H is equal to A into H into A star intersection B. But One says that A H is equal to H C. Therefore, H H is equal to H C into A into A star intersection B. But A into A star intersection B is same as H. Therefore, we get H H is equal to H H. This will be true for any H belongs to K. That means H H is equal to H H for all H belongs to K. Therefore, H K is equal to K H. So this means that H K is a subgroup of G. Therefore, by second isomorphism theorem, H K mod H is isomorphic to K mod H intersection K. We now compute H K and H intersection K because we know what is H and what is K. We first find what is H K. Now you know that A star. Intersection B is contained in A star intersection B star because B is a subset of B star. Therefore, H K. What is H? H is same as A into A star intersection B, and K is A star intersection B star. Therefore, H K is equal to what? A into A star intersection B into A star intersection B star. But you know that. A star intersection B is a subset of A star intersection B. Therefore, this product it will be same as A star intersection B star because this all these elements are belongs to this set. 
So therefore, HK is equal to A into A star intersection B into A star intersection B star is equal to A into A star intersection B star because A star intersection B is contained in A star intersection B star. Therefore, HK we get A into A star intersection B star. Now we try to find what is H intersection K. So let Y belongs to H intersection K. Which means what? A y belongs to H as well as Y belongs to K. Suppose Y belongs to H. Or since Y belongs to H and H is equal to A into A star intersection B. That means that Y can be written as A into B where A is in A and B belongs to A star intersection B. For some A is in A and some B belongs to A star intersection B. Now because y belongs to k, we get ab must be belongs to k because y is equal to ab where a is in a and b belongs to a star intersection b. Therefore ab is equal to c for some c belongs to k but k is a star intersection b star. But you know that c belongs to k and k is equal to a star intersection b star implies c belongs to b star. And also it is given that B belongs to A star intersection B, that means B belongs to B. And B is a subset of B star, therefore B belongs to B star. Therefore we have AB is equal to C means A is equal to CB inverse and both C and B are in B star and B star is a subgroup. So A is equal to C into B, B inverse belongs to B star. So, A is in B star and A is in A. Therefore, A belongs to A intersection B star. So, Y is equal to AB and A is in A intersection B star and B is in A star intersection B. Therefore, if I choose Y belongs to H intersection K, then Y belongs to A intersection B star into A star intersection B. Therefore, we get H intersection K is a subset of A intersection B star into a star intersection B. Now we prove the reverse inclusion. So now that A intersection B star is contained in A star intersection B star that means it is equal to K. That means A intersection B star is a subset of K. Also A star intersection B is also contained in A star intersection B star which is K. That means A star intersection B is a subset of K. That means both A intersection B star and A star intersection B are subset of K. Therefore, the product is also a subset of K. Now, A intersection B star is contained in A. And A intersection, therefore, A intersection B star into A star intersection B is contained in, this is A into A star intersection B. That means it is equal to H. Therefore, we prove that A intersection B star into A star intersection B is contained in H and A intersection B star into A star intersection B contained in K. Therefore, A intersection B star into A star intersection B is contained in H intersection K. Therefore, these two, 2 and 3 says that H intersection K is exactly equal to A intersection B star into A star intersection B. Therefore, we found both HK and H intersection K. Now, so we have H is A into A star intersection B and K is equal to A star intersection B star. HK is equal to A into A star intersection B star and H intersection K is equal to A intersection B star into A star intersection B. Therefore, by one, by second isomorphism theorem, we have HK mod H is isomorphic to K mod H intersection K. So, we substitute the values of HK, H intersection K, H and K. We get HK is same as A, indes, A into A star intersection B star. So, A into A star intersection B star mod H. H is A into A star intersection B. And that is isomorphic to K. K is same as A star intersection B star. And H intersection K is same as A intersection B star into A star intersection B. Therefore, A into A star intersection B star mod A into A star intersection B is isomorphic to A star intersection B star mod A intersection B star into A star intersection B. 
So if we interchange the roles of A and B, we get here if we interchange the roles of A and B, we get A star, we replace with A with B, so it is B star intersection A star. That is same as A star intersection B star. And here we replace it with uh, A with B and B with A. So we will get B intersection A star. B intersection A star is same as A star intersection B. So it is this one and A star intersection B. And if you replace A with B and B with A, you will get B star intersection A. That means A intersection B star. So you will get A intersection B star. So you get the right hand side of this equal uh, inequal is the isomorphism by interchanging the roles of a and b we get the same thing a star intersection b star mode a intersection b star into a star intersection b and in the left hand side if you replace a with b and b with a you will get a that means you will get b into b star intersection a star that means which is same as b into a star intersection b star and this is B into B star intersection A. That means A intersection B star. So you will get uh, both the right hand sides are same and, and therefore this left hand side, both the right hand side of this equation and the left hand side of this equation are same. Therefore, left hand side of this is isomorphic to right hand side of this. That means A into A star intersection B star mod A into A star intersection B is isomorphic to B in, into B star intersection A star mod B into A star intersection B, which is same as B into A star intersection B star mod B into A intersection B star. So we prove the, the two quotient groups are same or isomorphic. So that's end of the proof. In the next session, we discuss about Jordan-Holder theorem. Thank you.